Peter wants reality to be different than it is. To be exactly. Yeah. Matter of fact, you wish it were the exact opposite. Okay? Are you with me? You have been, are we capturing this? Yeah. Okay. Fine. So, listen. Let me give you an example. Let's just say, is it uh, Abdullah, right? <laughs> Abdulaziz. All right, let's pretend for a minute Abdulaziz's mom just hooked him up with a beautiful Fatima. Okay, back home. Wow. And <laughs> I wish I could yes, he is about to get married. We think, but he's got to do something scary. He's got to go meet with the girl, right? Abdulaziz has to go meet with her, talk to her family, and sit with the girl. Now, let me say something. If Abdulaziz comes back to the class, we all know he's going to go talk to Fat you know, Fatima's family. He's going to sit with Fatima. If he comes back and he says, I didn't talk. I wish. I could. I wish Fatima would marry me. So she, uh, she, what she, happened? Was she, it good or bad? Was it good news or bad yeah, news? Bad. Uh, it's bad news! Yeah, it, it means she, he went, he talked with her, but and then Fatima like didn't like him. Yes. Or the father didn't like him. Yeah. So that's what we use wish. See, we use wish. It, of course, that'll never happen to him. Why? Right? Because that'll he, never happen to him. He's handsome, man. Why she? Now uh, listen, hope. Hope, on the other hand. I hope let's that, say I he, hope. let's say Abdul Aziz comes to us and says, "Hey, I'm going back to Saudi in a couple of weeks. Um, I hope my mom will call Fatima's family." So let me ask you a question: Did she call Fatima's no, family? No. Did they call her family yet? Yes. No. But is there any bad news yet? No. 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 no there's no bad news either. Yes. So it's a desired. He has a desired goal, or he wants something to happen in the future that hasn't happened yet. You see the difference? So, we're talking about wish, and we use wish to express uh, that, you, that you wished something were different, that already happened to you in the past, that could happen to you right now, or that may happen to you in the future. So, you can use a wish in the past, present, or future. What makes it a little difficult when you're using it in writing, and even speaking, is getting the sequence of the verb tense is correct. Okay? All you need to know is, there's a truth statement, like a, any conditional, there's a truth statement, and then there's the actual wish condition. Okay? And it does the same thing. It takes a step backwards uh, the verb tense in the truth statement just take a step back in the in the wish statement. Does that make sense? So when you have a truth, we want to make a wish, we take a step back. Correct. Here's the deal. The wish the wish is always followed by a noun clause. Okay? The verb in the noun clause following the wish is always a step back from the truth statement. That's one way to look at it. So, let's look at what we have here. Since I'm picking on you, okay? Look at A. Read A for us. What's the truth statement? She will not tell me. Okay, right. the truth is she will not tell me. So now read the wish statement. Uh, I wish that she won't tell me. Yeah. I wish she would tell me. So, notice the verb tense in the truth statement, will not tell. That's a modal, right? Will, and it's future. Now jump over to the noun clause after the wish statement. The will goes to would. would. Yes. Look at B. Will you read B? Go ahead, go ahead. I thought it was easy. He isn't going to be here. I wish he, he were going to be here. Okay, so notice in that one, it is going to be, right? The going to be is that future idea. But they're looking, we're looking at the, notice the verb tense of the, the be verb. He isn't going to be here. The is, what tense is that? Present. Simple present. Yeah. I wish he were going to be here. See, the truth is, 
He's not coming. <laughs> but you wish he were. So, but notice the verb tense. It goes from an is to a, a were. And hey, that, that were was rule, it applies here too. Notice he, we don't say he was going to be here. We say he were going to be here. So just keep the keep it were, okay? And then look at C, read C. She can't come tomorrow. I wish she could come tomorrow. Good. All right. So the can went to could. It went to could. Okay? And you'll notice if the truth statement is negative, then the noun clause has to be positive. Because you want, it's, it's actually, uh, you want to contradict the truth statement. Does that make sense? Here's another way to put it. If this is easier for you, remember this. Hold on, let me get rid of this. So, teacher, if I want to talk about the future, always it will be positive. Do as I wish. Yeah, so yes, good, good observation. So, if you want to make a future wish, in the future, uh, notice what is the verb tense of all the verbs in the noun clause after wish? They're all in the what tense? Nice. They're all in the past. So, wish a wish in the future. Use the past tense in the noun clause. Does that make sense? In the noun clause. Now look at uh, the, the present. A wish about the present. Now I'm in the middle, okay? So let's talk about that in a second. If I want to make a wish about the present right now, give me the truth statement. Second one? Yeah, D. Read D. Okay. I don't know French. I wish I knew French. All right, here's the truth. I don't know French. Now, I, they, I wish to knew, I wish I knew French. Good. I wish I knew French. I think uh, So, notice in all of these, It goes from, what's, what tense is this? The present? It's the present, and it goes to past. past. Here's what I want to say, so this is because it does the same thing, doesn't it? Yeah. The only difference is, up top, when you're in the future, I wish she would tell me. Um, it's a modal. You notice that? And it's the will. It's because of the will that, that it gives it that future idea. So the will goes to a would, and as you guys know, going to expresses a future idea. Yes. So all you're doing is changing the is to a were. We're going to be. So that's why that is in the future. See that? And then notice uh, C is a little tricky. What indicates that it's in the future? She can't come tomorrow. Yeah, so how do I know it's in the future? Yeah, I, I wish she I could. Wish she could to come tomorrow. Because yeah, when? Tomorrow. And the, tomorrow. Yes. So there they actually put a time phrase. To, well, it, the, the tense goes from can to could, but they, they use the word tomorrow to make sure you realize it's about a future wish. Yes. So there's, there's a hint in each one of these to the future. Okay? okay? You'll notice in the wish about the present, in general what happens is it just goes from the present in the truth statement, present in the truth statement to past. Simple paths. Also, if someone told you, like, I will get a better tomorrow, yeah. you say, I wish I could there. I wish I could be there. I could be there. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so look at E. E is, well, let's see, let's, Megan, read E. Complete, uh, read E. It is e. up top. It is rain. Raining right now. Good. I wish it uh, weren't raining uh, right now. Yeah. So listen. What what format 
is raining, what verb form is that? Present. Present. Continuous. Continuous. So they change it to? Uh, past continuous. Continuous. And they even give you a time phrase that means? No. <laughs> what do they say? No. Right now. Right now. See that? It's very clear. F. Will you read F? Uh, I wish I could speak Japanese. Yeah. So that one it just goes simple. Pre the can goes to? Uh, past. Yep. Past or could speak. Everybody okay? Mm-hmm. Can I just put here? Modo. Hint of future. Good. So there's always, the will goes to would. Uh, or you have a be going to, was, going to be, right? Mm -hmm. Or it just says tomorrow. And that tells you that it's talking about a future wish. The present, it does the same thing. Past. Oh, I did that backwards, sorry. Present. Oh, I see what I did. It's the past in the noun clause, okay? And it, usually, it gives you a hint. Um, if it doesn't give you a hint, then you know it's in the present. It's a present wish. Listen, these always happen in a conversation, okay? So in the conversation, you're going to know. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So a wish about the past. Now, this is weird. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, Change it to Hold on, Faisal, let's get someone else in here. Uh, Ahmed, read G. John didn't come. Okay, what tenses didn't come? Simple past. Simple past. Now read the wish statement. I wish uh, John had come. So had come there, what tense is that? Past perfect. So it took a step back, didn't it? It went from the past to the past perfect. What's the stuff? What's that? With the small stuff. You like that little star? It says, sometimes in very informal speaking, I wish John would have come. So sometimes you'll hear Americans put a wood there. I wish if John would have come. We, yeah, but we don't... We, see, that's what makes us special. If you want to talk about something in the past that you wanted to happen but didn't happen, yeah. that's when you use a wish. Okay. You don't use wish with condition. Oh. It is a condition, but you don't even need, you don't need the if. Oh. You don't need the if. Get rid of the if. It's a special construction using the word, uh, it's really its own sentence. I wish, right? It's the subject and then the verb and then you're putting a noun clause on the end as the object. I wish what? And then yeah. But I could say, I wish if John had come. No. Can't do it. I cannot. No. Um, so anyway, guys, if you want to make a wish in the past, just make sure you put you use wish, and then you use the past uh, perfect. So in G, John didn't come. I wish John had come. Or in H, you see Mary hadn't come. Or, I'm sorry, Mary couldn't come goes to, I wish Mary could have come. You guys okay? Mm-hmm. Joan Ben, is that thing still running? Yeah. You can turn it off now.